Hey, would you believe it's been a remarkable 64 years since the beloved TV series My Three Sons first captivated audiences? This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our childhoods with its enthralling tales lingering in our memories. If you're eager to delve into the nostalgia and uncover all the untold truth, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this exploration together right now, shall we? Meredith McRae played the character Sally Ann Morrison. She was 16 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on July 14, 2000, she left us after complications from brain cancer at 56 in Manhattan Beach, California. We're really feeling the loss. took me to a ball game. I took him to a symphony. <laughs> One month later, he made a deal. <laughs> Maybe if I took Mike to a fashion show, he'd hate looking at the dresses. Or in my space in the garage, I mean, it's like, mm. you know, so, and then I said, Mom, I wish She's I didn't get so mad at I'm the old uh -huh. Stanley Livingston played the character Chip Douglas. He was 10 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 74-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Los Angeles, California. Throw you out at first base or what? Worse than that, she she hangs around all the time, makes goof eyes at me. Goof eyes? Yeah, every time I... There was no yelling or screaming, and sometimes they would have us come over there just to throw in our two cents worth if they thought, you know, the dialogue didn't really work. Ron Troop played the character Polly Williams Douglas. She was 15 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. Check it out, at 79 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Chip, I think I walk like a monkey. Of course you don't walk like a monkey. I will admit, your walk is a little unique. Been happy about six months. Sure, but he doesn't have a wife like me. What else did he say? Don Grady played the character Robbie Douglas. He was 16 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on June 27, 2012, he left us after cancer at 68 in Thousand Oaks, California. We're really feeling the loss. Uh, Chip, is Sudsy or any of your other friends going to be at the picture tonight? No. Sudsy said seen pictures about schools make him sick to his stomach. <laughs> but Chip protection and he was like the 14 13 14 year old kid I always had a big rifle you know I was protecting the family and uh, so I had gotten a reputation in Beverly Garland played the character Barbara Harper Douglas in the TV series when she was 34 years old in 1960 sadly on December 5th 2008 she left us due to long illness at the age of 82 in Hollywood Hills Los Angeles California her passing deeply saddens us Charlie, is it true the tramp ate the meatloaf? Yeah, he's just like Juliet Morrison. He'll eat anything. What kind of a crack is that? Fighting world. And a lot, a lot of people put us down. I mean, you know, I, I really came from television. I call myself kind of a television baby because uh, television... Don Lynn played the character Dodie Harper Douglas in the TV series when she was less than three years old in 1960. Here she is at a cool 61, chilling in Los Angeles, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Brothers wouldn't like that. <laughs> My really big brother is Robbie, and if he heard about this, he would do terrible things to you. It's okay, Dodie. You sign a contract saying that if the pilot sells and becomes a series, you, you'll go with the series. You, you'll be in it. And so I did. Tina Cole played the character Katie Miller Douglas in the TV series when she was 17 years old in 1960. Check it out, at 81 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Hollywood, California. You know what? Now I really feel like one of the family. No kidding. How come? My grandmother has a saying that I never paid much attention to until now. She said that there's nothing colder than a thing. And I'd gone to, to drama lessons in the summer times for about four years but i wanted to be a teacher i wanted to be tim considine played the character mike douglas he was 20 years old when the tv series ran in 1960. 
It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on March 3rd, 2022, he left us after natural causes at 82 in Mar Vista, California. We're really feeling the loss. William Frawley played the character Michael Francis Bub O'Casey. He was 73 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. Sadly, on March 3, 1966, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 79 in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. If you had a pipe wrench in your hand, it'd help you remember. Yeah, yeah. Candy bar. It's sort of like a chocolate-covered jelly donut with a peanut butter center. It's all covered with coconut. It's called ass. William Demarest played the character Uncle Charlie O'Casey. He was 68 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. December 28, 1983 was a tough one. He left us due to pneumonia and prostate cancer at 91 years old in Palm Springs, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. You real fast. But isn't that helping? Telling the kids things, that's okay. But that other junk. The faculty what? Well, you know how protective mothers are, Charlie. Yeah. I Fred McMurray played the character Steve Douglas. He was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1960. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on November 5th, 1991, he left us after pneumonia, pulmonary edema, sepsis syndrome, urinary tract infection, chronic lymphocytic leukemia at 83 in Santa Monica, California. We're really feeling the loss. Husband by? <laughs> Look, uh, I think I'm old enough to know when a woman is trying to, uh, as you say, trap me into marriage. You know something? You're right. <laughs> I think maybe she was. Because I, I never felt that I was one with the horse, you know. <laughs> there was always some space underneath and Except